The gospel lesson this morning comes to us in John chapter 18, verses 33 through 37. Pilate entered the praetorium again and called Jesus and said, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord, or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I one of you? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My dominion is not of this world. If my dominion were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the religious authorities. But my dominion is not from this world. Pilate said to Jesus, So you are a king. And Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of truth hears my voice. May God add understanding to the reading of this gospel. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> God, I thank you that I am your instrument this morning. Anoint my heart and my lips. Anoint my voice that it would make it through. Let the people hear the words that you would have them hear this day on their faith journey. Amen. Well, some of you are probably thinking, I know the pastor's had a bad cold all week. It's been a little bit stressful at their house. Drugs have not seeped into my brain cells yet. I know that the gospel lesson this morning is really the gospel of the passion of Christ. And yet here we are preparing ourselves <coughs> for the upcoming birth of Christ. The story that tells of the forthcoming judgment, trial, and ultimate death of Jesus is what we heard this morning. It's a story that almost all of us relate to Easter, for sure. During the Easter season, we are reflecting on the fact that Jesus would become the King of Kings and had yet to achieve that mantle. I think that at this time, as we, be we begin to approach the time of Advent and the beginning of our Christmas season, we should reflect on this position of king in a different way. We will have a chance to prepare ourselves for the birth of what we easily claim as our Savior, the birth of the Christ child. We sometimes have a difficult time accepting the fact that we should be reflecting on the birth of a king. We should be bold and brave enough to accept the fact that the King of Kings will be born to us soon. We have a fear of times of thinking that our whole lives will be led by the infant child of Jesus. We have no problems, amazingly enough, in our society of knowing why our country was established. It was established because we wanted to get away from a monarchy and a king that gave us no freedoms and no freedom to worship. We as a people have no problems <coughs> bestowing the title of king upon those in our world who we wish to celebrate. Think about the people we've given that title to Elvis Presley. This one gets me. LeBron James. 
we willingly, joyfully bestow upon them the title of king. And we expect great things. But just as we left one nation to start a new nation, those people will leave us too. Leave us wanting more. Because there's more than just a self-proclaimed king. <coughs> These kings that I mentioned will pass away and will be only a memory. We as a people of the Christian tradition have been given something greater. We are a part of the world that has a king that is able to say, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the end all and the be all, says the Sovereign who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The question we have to ask ourselves each day is the kind of king do we want to serve? The king who will last forever? Or do we want to serve a king that will disappoint and eventually leave us? We need not create any more kings in our lives. We need not create any more idols for our lives. We only need to serve and worship the one true King, the King of Peace, the King of Kings. <clears throat> Prepare for this coming Advent and Christmas season to find the King you wish to celebrate and be part of the great incarnation and birth. Could you imagine Pontius Pilate going to Jesus 33 years after his birth, after his public ministry, and discussing kingship. If all of that had been done way back when Herod put out his ruling to go and find that infant child and kill it, if we had accepted Jesus, the infant child, as king of king and prince of peace at that moment, how much grief could we have saved if we had only believed in the true, the everlasting, the forever God, the forever King? How many times do we forsake ourselves by searching for another type of king or another type of kingdom when the King of Kings is just waiting to dine with us. Where that queen of queens is just waiting to invite us along for the ride on the good ship lollipop. The king has been born. The king took it further and was crucified. And then the king took it further and was resurrected. Now, are you willing to lift up and celebrate, venerate, and honor that king in your life? Accept that. Next week in this church, we're going to focus on our readings on Thanksgiving and then of offering ourselves to the church. The following Sunday on December 2nd, we start the first Sunday of Advent the first Sunday of the, church, of the new year for the church. The first day to start a new exploration of the Christ child and the possibilities that that child will have in and for your life. We all love the hallmark moments when we see a beautiful TV commercial or a beautiful show where we look in the eyes of a young child and we see hope. And we take great joy in that. That hope was born a long time ago. And in those eyes, if we had cleared our eyes, 
we would have seen into the soul of a king. This year, look for that king. I know that you are worthy to walk hand in hand, arm in arm, with that king. And it's a king not of judgment, a king not of rules and regulations, but a king that sometimes likes to be a little bit giddy, likes to get into the open convertible and drive like a crazy lady. It's the kind of king who wants to put on the finest makeup and the most wonderful jewelry and march through town. And it's the kind of king who sometimes just wants to sit down on the street corner and watch the world go by and wonder what has become of what we've created. We have so many great things to look forward to. We don't have to wait for some other person to come along for us to call the King of Kings or the Queen of Souls. We already have the everlasting King, the everlasting God. Celebrate that and accept it. Amen. Mm -hmm.